Welcome, Anna, to Cedar Park High School, I'm home excited. of the T-Wolves. We're looking forward to taking you around and seeing our kids in action. You ready let's, to go? Let's go. So where are we heading today? We are heading into our culinary kitchen and we're going to see our practicum students who are preparing for a career in the culinary arts. What do you like about the Cedar Park High School culinary program? Uh, I really like that we're all really close in the kitchen, you know, like every every other day we're spending like three hours just straight together, so we all get really close in here. It's kind of like a, a big family. It's really nice. It's also like a good life skill to like really learn. You have to make two identical appetizers and two identical entrees. You're going to have 10 minutes to make a plan and 60 minutes to cook. So Jude, how do you think this class has prepared you for what you might do next after school, after high school? Um, it's given me a lot of experience um, and made me narrow my focus on like different types of foods and cuisines that I want to make. Are you planning to pursue uh, a career in the culinary arts? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah. Hey Izzy, nice to meet you again. Can you explain to our community what Walk the Talk is about? Yeah, so pretty much Walk the Talk is where a bunch of like LISD teachers come over and we just, we get to talk to them about our research and like it's an opportunity to just express what we've been learning in this class so far. So what is your research topic this year? Um, my research is food waste in high schools and I'm focusing on like LISD and Central Texas high schools. Um, and just like so much cafeteria food is made that's wasted and we could do so many like better things with that food. Hey Jackson, nice to meet you. So can you give us a little input about what your AP Capstone research project was about this year? So this year I'm doing some research into role playing and it's used within the educational sector and specifically how it can be used to inform others about mental disabilities. This is a very underdeveloped field, particularly in regards to role playing, could potentially bring more awareness to the school about it. So why did you pick this um, project to research about? Oh boy, there's a variety of reasons for this, but the main one is that I have a sister who has autism, and I remember back when she was at this school that there was a lot of difficulties in regards to being able to interact with other people at the school and I want to be able to find a way to inform people about the struggles behind having autism, especially in this kind of environment. So you added a team, right? It has to have a team. There you go. <laughs> now it'll work. This is our second year mobile maker development class, and we develop iOS apps for real life. So we have a group right now that the app idea they came up with is a, a problem that we all have when we're out somewhere, is finding a clean and wonderful restroom to use. So we're doing a bathroom review and we have a login screen here and it checks if you have like an account in the system. I'm just gonna type it in real quick. And if it matches, it will go on to the map onto the next screen and it will show you the really zoomed out map and then a show bathrooms button. If we manually zoom in all the way to where we are, it will show nearby places like Shakes right here and Yagi's, which is like right there. And you can check the review directions and ratings. Thanks so much for having me today at Cedar Park High School, John. Thank you for visiting us. We had a great time showing you around. Hope you enjoyed it. Go Wolves. Go Wolves.